The core concept to Elder Dragons are that they are monsters capable of causing mass destruction with their unknown abilities to the general environment. With this being known, they are a threat that the guild have to take seriously, and that only a few very skilled hunters can take on and complete upon success. However, taking on an Elder Dragon won't be easy for most hunters, as they have special defences built into their bodies that activate around certain actions such as being in a rage. Now, each Elder Dragon has the ability to buff themselves, to either increase their damage, prevent themselves from being damaged, or slow down your general movement. These can all be noticed by their auroras around their body once they activate these states, which also triggers their special attacks, like Nojiante's Dive Bomb Attack or Chiyosha's Notifer Bomb, Val's Sucking Beam Attack, Kushala's Wind Blast Attack, and Kieran's Mega Thunderbolt Attack, etc. Using elemental weapons they're weak to can help, but it won't stop their special abilities from activating. So, how do we counter this? In comes the Elder Seal, a ability in Monster Hunter that allows you to stop an Elder Dragon's Enraged buff by removing it from said Elder. This mechanic is most common in Dragon based weapons and can help you stop a Dragon's Enraged moment from happening. Each Dragon based weapon, from Black Steel Chopper to Nerd Your Gal, all have an Elder Sign seal, as shown, with a tier of either low, medium, or high. These tiers indicate how much of a chance you'll prompt the Elder Seal sign on the Elder Dragons, with low prompted in the lowest amount of times and high prompted in the highest amount of times. Now, just like status afflictions, to apply the effects onto an Elder Dragon, you have to hit them enough times for it to activate, as it has a hidden build up mechanic that once full will suppress the monster. Pay attention to the small signs that will show when it activates, such as a small black cloud that pops up, and the monster's ability being suppressed, like shown. If in endgame, it's ideal to at least have an Elder Seal weapon that either has a medium or high tier of seal to make your life a whole lot easier when going up against said Elder Dragons. So here are a few recommended weapons that you should give a go and have a look into, and I do recommend that you at least pick one of these as these will serve you very well. We have Extermination Edge, Obliteration Footfall, Pandemonium's Root, Divine Slasher, and Leviathan's Fury. And there's plenty more out there, but it's going to be up to you guys to decide on what you want to go for. Generally, going for the Nergiante, Valhazek, or Xeno weapons will serve you well. If you don't even have an Elder Seal weapon to fight against Elders, then don't worry, as you can use something else instead. Dragon Pods Dragon Pods drop from Elders upon successful hits, and once you land enough hits onto your Elder Dragon with these pods, it will suppress their abilities, the same as if you were using an Elder Seal weapon. So this will leave you a few rooms to free up and use whatever weapon you feel like against said monster. But remember, they don't always drop upon successful hits, only a few times. Overall, Elder Dragons can make your life a living hell if you don't have a way to counter their special auroras and abilities. But using Elder Seals can make tough fights a walk in the park and every monster a slave or target. And that everyone is the end of the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, a like and sub would be appreciated. But like always, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again soon.